Hello everyone, how's it going? This is me, Karwan again. I hope you are all doing great. Guys, in this video, I want to share some information and some scenario on this plant, on this uh, small unit. This is not, really this is not a small unit because all the refinery in the world, it has a, this unit. This unit we can call the sour water seed reaper. Okay, this means we have a unit for what? For recycling again, for getting again the water that they use it. Guys, we know in the refinery and other SAM industry, when they are using the water, you know the first time the water is clean, the pure. When we are using the water, the water is become a dirty. The water is become like a waste water. That means it's law of purity. For that reason, this water is not acceptable to send to the sun location, especially for the ground to send to some location because it's normally the water is impure and wasty water. It makes a problem problem for the what for the environment. The first one. The second one, you are losing a lot of water. Because you know, right now in the world, the water is so expensive, and we have to have information how much the water, how the water is important in our life. For that reason, depending on two points: the first one to protecting the environment, the second one to recovering and recycling the waste water to getting the pure water from by the special unit. For that reason, we install the sour water unit in our plant to what? To protect the environment. And the second one to recovering the waste water to get in the pure water again. Okay, and we can use again the plant. Okay, for that reason, we have a special thing that's coming from the plant. After we use it, it is, for example, it's mixing with some other hydrocarbons, some dirty material like h with and ammonia. We send it to the special tower that we call stripper. And in the bottom of the tower, we have a special steam. It's this steam we use it for example the stripping, so remo removing the H2S and ammonia and other material that available in the feed. And we can get in the bottom of the tower, we can get the pure water. That means we can recover 100% of the water. I know when, for example, you say this plant, it needs an initial cost, for example, it needs, in the in time of the person, we need, for example, some maintenance, some spending money, but we, the, our idea, the most important point, we have to protect the environment and recover in their water, like a pure water, okay? That means, okay, no, no problem to install and to make a project for sour water system. Okay, then when the bottom of the tower is clean the water, in the top of the tower we strip the estuaries and ammonia and some losses the water with no problem. This water, this is the overhead product that it goes to the two points. The first one is the normal operation pipeline that goes to the special separator, but the sep before it goes to the, goes to the separator, we have to cool down the temperature of the top of the tower because as you know, the top of the towers is totally in the vapor. If you see in here, the temperature is 122 centigrade. That means it's also, we know, for example, the H2S is, is light hydrocarbons all the time. It's, it's staying the gas phase. The ammonia is base temperature is, for example, the gas phase. And also the water is the vapor because, you know, the water is boiling at 100 centigrade, but one atmosphere. But right now, the pressure is too 21.19 psi gauge so okay we separated this line to two point two line the first one is operation and we send to the special cooler that we call we can call for example shallow tube and we can call the cooler okay by what we want to for example the cooling down the temperature by cooling water supply okay and we send to the two phase separator horizontal we can for example separate in the gas h2s and we can get the liquid, for example, the ammonia and the water. This ammonia in the water, you have a some a little ammonia, okay? And the ammonia in the water, uh, we can use by the pump to increase the pressure and recycling towards the tower to control in the top of the tower, okay? And the top of the vapor, we can control it, for example, the pressure of the separated by the control valve, pressure control valve, 
by the special control, we can call PIC pressure indicator control. Okay, guys, this is a general our view, for example, for our unit to know what I have to share with you. Okay, right now I want to, for example, share two scenarios with you guys. Look, you are staying in the control and you are supervisor, and okay, no problem. You are process engineer and you are process safety engineer. You have to make some scenario before to get in the real situation and real case that we we get in the plant. Okay, look, in here we have a two scenario. The f before uh, I want to explain this. Please, if you want to become an expert in the HISIS, okay, and if you want to, for example, become an expert in the process engineer and a good supervisor and a good control room operator, you can participate one of the course that they have. Okay, guys. Okay, we have a two scenario. The first one, what happened if the reflex palm tree, for example, as you know, the palm is getting, for example, the power from the electricity. If the pump is stripped by the, for example, loss in the electricity. Okay, guys, what happened in the plant? What is, for example, the effect of tripping the pump in the plant is what? For example, right now, I don't have an idea. When I say, for example, that somebody asked me when the pump is stripped, what's happening in the plant? Okay. In which point it's make a problem for your plot? I say it's okay, I don't have an idea. It's, we have to, for example, see in the real life. For example, in the pump, one pump is stripped, okay? And we can we have to see the situation, and at that time we can do some activity. But this is not, for example, a, a good way to learn, to get more information about, okay, your plot. And should be before doing anything, you have an idea. Okay, guys, I know it's normally in the plant we have a two pump, but if it's normally, normally we use it just one pump. If the pump is drip, that is meaning you need the time to put it in separate again. Okay, look, guys, this is how I made the plant by this relation in the steady state side. I changed to the dynamic. Right now, I want, for example, to click and run my plant. Okay, let me bring what? Bring two things. The first one, we, I have a special chart. This chart is consistent. Special trend chart is okay, no problem. We dedicated wide. You know, as I said, the overhead is split to line. The first one is overhead. That means it's normally the floor is passed through this line. The second one is we have a PSV. I know you have information about the PSV. When the pressure of the tower is increased and it's Increase it to the near maximum allowable working pressure to maximum design pressure. Should you have a special equipment to protect, for example, the tower? Okay, which equipment that we have to install? We have a PSV pressure safety valve. Okay, I want to go to the PSV and check. Look, guys, parameter in 25 right now we have a 21.19 psi gauge but if the pressure of the tower is reached 25 psi gauge then rotating the psv is pump up okay why to protect in the tower it's not making explosion okay in your tower for that reason we put the psv in here guys 100 percent if you participate in my course you can learn and get all stuff that i shared in this video okay good Right now, I want to run my plant. Okay, look, guys, the trend is running. We have, for example, the flow of the PSV right now. I don't have any flow passing through the PSV. Why? Because the pressure is not reached 225 psi gauge. Right now, with the pressure, we have a 21.90 psi gauge. In this time, we are safe. The plant is running smoothly. We, that's mean the plant is normal. Just we are monitoring, for example, like a control room operator like a supervisor in your plants, it's okay, no problem. But the first scenario, what happened if your pump is stripped? Okay, look guys, if the pump trip, you have to monitor it in some points. The first one, when the pump is stripped, that means no have any more liquid, it goes back to where, like a reflex valve goes back to the tower. That is mean you lost the reflex line. When you lost the reflex line, that means you can't control 
the top temperature. The top temperature of the overheads in the increase. When the top temperature is increased, that means more temperature, more hydrocarbon is goes out. That means it increases the pressure in the inside of the tower. At that time, the pressure increase in the top of the tower, the PSV is pop up. Okay, no have a pump, no have a reflex, no have a cooling down the top of the tower to control the temperature. That means you lost the reflux, you increase the pressure on the top of the tower, inside of the tower, increase the temperature. This is the effect to pop up with the PSV. Okay, guys, this, let's do that, okay? Like I said, this is the first scenario that I wanted to, for example, apply in my process. Guys, I want to go to, for example, the pump. We have a special value in here. For example, I want to look, guys. When, for example, the heat flow of the pump, right? We have a kilogram per hour. When, it, for example, is down to near the zero, that means the pump is running. Like, for example, shutting the pump, tipping the pump. For example, this is like just a scenario that I wanted to share. What happened if the reflux pump is straight? Okay, guys, please. Look, the first time the pressure of the tower in here, the second one, the PSV, what mass flow rate, and the second one, the top temperature. Okay, and in here, the position of what the position of the PIC indicator control, pressure indicator control. Okay, okay, guys, look, let's just do that. I wanted to tell you, for example, heat flow in here and goes to two, one, for example. And look also that I mentioned before. Look, when you put it one, okay, the level is increased. Still don't have any flow. Root, the pressure is increased to 24.6. That means it's not reached what? Now it's 25%. Okay, look, the PIC in here is rich how much? 73.4. But what's happened, guys? Let me go to the inside. I want, for example, to change to the PIC to the manual in here. I want, for example, the decrease to 65%. Look, when, for example, the PIC is 65% is open, look, the pressure is increase of the tower to how much? To 25 point something. And the PSV is pop up. The mass flow you have a special mass flow rate. Okay, guys, that is mean. And now have any reflex back to where to the top of the tower. We lost some of the reflux. That means too much hydrocarbon is go to the top. The temperature is increased. The pressure is increased. It's effect of what of the PSV to pop up. Okay, guys, this is the first scenario. When I change it, for example, back to let me say it like that. For example, it's back to the normal operation. If you see in here, if you saw that the chart is changing again, I want to, for example, to decrease to one. Look the chart. Look the chart, guys. The chart is changing. The PSV is open. Okay. The mass flow is changed. Okay, guys. Everything is changed. If you see in here, the level is decreased before 70 something, but in here, the level is decreased to 95. Okay. It's great. I want to back to, for example, four to seven. So they like that, I think, but they remember. This is the first scenario that they have that as also the temperature is increased, the pressure is increased. This is a special scenario that sometimes I saw in my plant. Okay, because when the pump is cheap, this without handling of the plant, because the electricity sometimes we have a variation in the generators, okay, it makes a problem for tripping some equipment. One of them, for example, like a pump, because it's take, for example, energy from the electricity and change it to rotating to the way to the mechanical parts. Okay, guys, this is the first scenario. The second scenario, as we know, the top of the tower, you have a two phase. It's go to the operational line and still now I, can, I want to show you here. The vapor phase branches is equal to one. That means totally is what is vapor. But if you send it, for example, without any cool, send it to the separated, we can get any what? Any liquid because it's totally it's a vapor. 
And look, when you see, for example, we're cooling down by what? The special heat exchanger. And you can call cooler, okay, by the cooling water supply. This means in the tube side, for example, we have a cooling water supply. At the shell side, we have a, what? We have a overheat product. When you go to the, the out of the cooler, as you know, the river freeze fraction is, is down to 0 0.12. That means it's 12%. It's just the vapor. The rest of them is a liquid. That means 88% become the liquid, just 12% is remaining the gas phase. What's happening, guys? The second scenario is said, what happened if we lost the cooling water supply to the cooler? What happened if no have more flow is passed through the shell to heat exchanger to the cooler? Okay. Let me show you guys. I wanted to, for example, the bring again. FY3. This is a FYC you want to show to bring the face plate in here. Guys, this is 100 percent like a real life. That means the house is like a it show you like a real life. Okay. Look, this is a manual position. 50% is water is open. 50% of the position of the control valve is open. How many, for example? Let me say go to the inside. For example, 248 meter per hour, we have to pass it through where to the cooler. Okay, what's happened if no have any more cooling water supply go to the cooler? As you know, if no have any more water supply cool, that means just the vapor is go through the inside of the interior of the cooler, and by the vapor phase is go out from the cooler. That means just the vapor is go to the separator. The liquid is coming down. If the vapor is coming down, the vapor is just go to the separate area. No, have a liquid. It's also what, how guys? The reflex is coming down because just for example, we have a what? Just we have the vapor is no more any more liquid. Let me show you. Okay, this is a fifty percent. I want to down for example five percent. When you put in the five percent directly, the temperature increase. The pressure is also increased is a raised 25 something as you know the psb is pop up at 25 psi gauge okay guys and if you see here the liquid percent is down to how much to 42 point something we lost some reflux when you lost some reflux the temperature increase the pressure is also increased affected all the process and also affected all the quality of the product okay guys for that reason you have to more for example, focusing on your plant. And if you want to become an expert, you can join my courses. Okay, guys? Look, everything is changed. And I want to back to the normal to 50%. Okay? And it puts the 50 percent okay? It's just remaining, for example, back to the normal operation condition that we had at first time. Okay, guys? These are the both two scenarios that they have that they want to that they wanted to share with you. Okay, guys, I hope it's helpful to you. And I hope to change your life, to change your mind, to find yourself to become an expert person in your life in the oil and gas industry. Till the next video, have a good day. Bye-bye, guys.